So hey y'all, sorry I did not do a proper intro, but welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tani and this is As Told by Tani. So y'all, today I'm just going to start by lighting me a candle in my house. It just makes me feel really, really good when I wake up in the morning to have a fragrance that I adore or something that I really like. Just, um, you know, going through my home and stuff like that, it just puts my mental clarity in a different space. So I do recommend that you guys try to find you a fragrance or something like that to light in your house, especially early. It really, really set the mood for the day and yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys so let's get into this vlog and see what's going on today so y'all it's currently what time is it over there it's 8 16 so yeah i have came in here and attempted and i'm attempting to make some curry chicken so i just got some chicken breast that i got from the asian mart I already put everything in it, like my parsley, my turmeric, um, for the color, some curry, and all my other spices that I use. I'm not going to add my onion and potato and peppers until, like, last. But, like, this, this is probably, hopefully this is a vibe because, you know, I, it's been a while since I cooked this, but I am going to cook some white rice on the side some basmati rice probably or jasmine rice i don't know which one but i'm gonna have rice on the side and then um just it's basically like i'm making jamaican food and then y'all this is how the oxtails are looking right now now I mean, to me they look a little gross like but girl because i'm not really an oxtail person so i'm kind of just like boiling them my husband wants me to just boil them until they come like off the bone or whatever so i'm gonna just let them sit in here a little while longer and then i'll probably take them out and like pan sear them just to get them a little bit crispy before i serve them to him and then i'm gonna make like a gravy or something he doesn't want potatoes so that's fine um but yeah that's what i'm cooking tonight y'all i just wanted to show y'all that and i feel like this curry gonna be it might be 9 out of 10, but it might we're going to get 10 out of 10. It might be 9 out of 10, you know. But anyways, let me um go ahead in here real quick and sit down because I want to finish watching, like, this news stuff. Um, I was looking, you know, I, a lot of news is just popping up on my feed and stuff, especially about the Kamala Harris and, you know, the presidential stuff. I don't know if y'all keep up with that. Like, I, I will listen and keep up with it because I am going to go and vote, but... As far as the propaganda, I'm not concerned about the propaganda. I don't care about you bringing Megan the flopping stallion out. Like, I don't care about you bringing out whatever. Like, all of these celebrities, like, you know, at this point, I'm thinking about the future of my family and my kids. And if you're not talking about policies that's going to benefit us and you're actually not going to execute on those policies you're basically just saying it just to get my vote like no because like one thing about it and i hate to get into politics y'all but i just want to say this but one thing about it that i noticed about her particular party the democratic party in particular they had almost four years to show the black community that they cared about them the same way that they do other communities and they have done nothing of the sort and then all of a sudden when there's like the last minute left you think you're going to jack us around and basically bring out some bubblehead celebrities or you know speak about some dance moves that she's doing or you know like just foolishness like stop trying us with foolishness hello <laughs> You ain't got no jacket? Okay, y'all. Anyways, I got interrupted, but like I was just saying, like, stop trying us with foolishness. You know, um, we have needs in our community as well. You know, we want to see our children with a future. You, you know, it's things that we do want to see just like other people do. And it's just like, I feel like they haven't taken us seriously, like, for years. They've been taking us for granted. They haven't taken us seriously, taking our votes for granted, you know, just just playing around with us, like, you know, as if we don't deserve the same things that they give other communities. So I'm just, you know, really leaning towards, like, voting based on policy and not based on foolery, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm about to go because I need to get, um, 
myself together. I don't like to speak on this stuff because, you know, people normally like cancel people for saying certain things, especially if you don't agree. But like that, that's people who are on. I'm not on. So you can't cancel me. And if I was, I don't give a fuck. Like, so what? <laughs> I don't have to deal with you people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like my life is still going to go on. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, finish cooking and stuff. And if I, I, I'll probably try to show you. If the stuff looks good, I'll show y'all what it looks like. If it don't, then I'm gonna just be like, girl, girl, try again. So if y'all don't see it, y'all know that that's just know that that's what happened. All right. So yeah, I'll see y'all when I get finished cooking. like the posters and stuff in here but I don't see any posters unless this is not the right I'm probably not in the right but I don't see any posters girl I need to go what is this how we know what this how we know what supernova smell like what does supernova smell like girl I'm gonna have to open this so I can see what supernova smell like Supernova if I can't smell supernova. Okay, um they got Halloween stuff out. Y'all already know how a lot of these stores do it. They start putting all the Halloween stuff out early, like the black cats, you know, all the good stuff. And then if y'all are into like Halloween decor, like look at this. Oh yeah, this is for punch. Wouldn't that be so cute for punch? egg rolls and I need to take this out of my ear because this should be making me feel like I'm talking so damn loud but I'm in here to get some snacks and some egg rolls and you know that good stuff so that's what I'm gonna go look for see if I can find me some snacks because I did want to get some um I did want to get a pink background but they don't have it so goodies the maple nut goodies and i don't know what the fuck they did they started changing the formula and that shit just got nasty and i think they stopped selling them but this is all like the candy and stuff i'm looking for mr candy honey to see what i can find because i'm not really feeling any chocolate mm. yeah i'm not feeling chocolate so let me find me some candy and then y'all know them willy wallabies they have them but i really don't want those because the last time i got them they were giving waxy the first time i had got them they was real good but then when i came back and got more they was like giving a waxy taste like i don't know what happened but then that time maybe i just got an old 
bag or something. I don't know. But they were giving wax. Um, who they got energy drinks too? And y'all, y'all know. If y'all know, you know. They got this in here too. But that's not what I'm looking for. Let me find what I'm looking for so I won't be in here forever. And I'll come right back. Y'all, so I just was in here trying to hurry up and pick stuff up. I found these salt and vinegar boiled peanuts. They were a fail. I would never buy these again. And then I popped over and was looking at some of the cornbread crisp and the chips that they had and all of that good stuff and all that good jazz. They had veggie chips. They had... Um, I don't know if y'all eat cracklings. I don't. I don't eat pork. But then they had like pretzels and all of that good stuff up in here. The Dollar Tree be having everything and it be for the cheap cheap. And since the budget is budgeting right now, I'm looking for everything and anything cheap. And then right here, y'all, these, I don't know if y'all remember these, but I'm from Florida. These used to be a school snack. And then the next one is I'm getting the egg rolls finally. The chicken, they did not have the vegetable ones in here. The Dollar Tree, y'all, some of them is a hit miss so you have to just go to multiple ones to find different things and different treasures but i did pick up the chicken i didn't get the lobster or the pork but i did get a couple chickens and then after that um i just moseyed on over to the um container section these were a dollar 25 and i'm just showing y'all like what they have this is a stackable um small drawer for like makeup you can get this for little makeups or little you know things if you have eyeliner and stuff like that but i did pick these up because i needed something for um, my toothpaste and toothbrushes I got two one for me and one for my husband and then um, yeah that's just that then I was just showing y'all the decor like Dollar Tree is Dollar Tree and they have decor these plates were like a dollar these bowls were a dollar 25 and then they are all super cute now some of them are broke like this blue one it had like a big slice in it right here as you can see but yeah but they have a lot of cute stuff for fall look at this pumpkin bowl Okay, fall, give and fall. And then look at this one, give and fall. Oh, once again, this glass right here is given mm, Indiana Jones and I didn't get it. But the next one I did get because it was super, super cute and you'll see that coming up and it was $1.25. So I got that for my wine. I thought that was really, really cute. So I just um, grabbed one of those. And then it was another cup up here too. Um, it was kind of round um, this one right here that one I got that one and that's for like my liquor you know what I'm saying so yeah let's go ahead and get checked out I got everything and some things that I didn't need Starbucks they got the pink drink inside the dollar the Dollar Tree pink drink go in there y'all shop find you some goodies and yeah it's a vibe and it's cheap I'll see y'all when I get home <laughs> Listen, I haven't really been consistent with like taking my, um, uh, what do they call it? My, um, progress stuff because I've been doing like a hundred sit-ups every day for the last four days. I think this is going to be day four, but so far this is how my stomach is looking without tucking it, like, you know, without sucking in or any of that stuff. And I do feel like it has went down a lot 
and I'm getting more definition like on my sides right here. So like when I put clothes on, it's kind of slimming out a bit. And then like I said, I have also been like lifting a bit using um, a 50 pound and then I do rotate in between, I rotate in between 50, um, a 30 and a 20 pound. So I just rotate in between those and then I'll use like my, um, what's that thing called y'all? My, um, what, what is it? The, what do I always tell y'all? My elastic band, my, I'll use my elastic band. I'm getting out of focus. I'll use my elastic band like every blue moon to um, do certain stuff. But like for the most part, like I just do my 100 sit-ups and then I do like um, 15 to 20 reps going forward with my 50 pounds. So I go like forward, you know, do the forward um, squats. I forgot what they are called with the 50 pound. And then I actually do do squats where I hold um, it's a 15 pound on this side and 15 on the other and I actually do do squats with that and um, Yeah, and then I do my sit-ups using my 20 pounds So when I do do the sit-ups, I do have a 20 pound weight that I just keep like in my hands and use it to come up and down So that's my routine. That's what I have been doing um, Like I said, I haven't been keeping up with my before and afters. I wish that I would have but um I'm gonna take some today. So this is day four. So we'll start at the like day four, my day four, and then I'll continue on until we get to day 30. So yeah. Anyways, y'all, that's what I wanted to pop in and say and show y'all. It's not like a huge, huge difference, but there is a difference to me because this was a lot bigger and a lot swollen a couple days ago and it has went down. So yeah, I'm gonna just continue doing that. And yeah, I'll keep y'all updated on how it looks and um, what happens. I need to take these damn braids out too because they starting to look like dreads and girl, it's not giving dreads. It's not giving a dread season. But yeah, I need to take them out, stop being lazy. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But anyways, I'll catch y'all later. not even the galaxy anymore i did decide you guys to pop back over to um, the dollar tree to pick up these clear balloons for some photos and unfortunately you guys they were so pretty and cute they were a dollar and 50 cents but they deflated before i was even able to use them for what i needed to use them for but if you are looking for clear balloons check out the dollar tree and let's move on to the next clip so good monday monday did I say that right? Good Monday morning, you guys. It is, can y'all see me? It is um, Monday, August the 5th, I believe. I think today's the 5th. Um, it's like five o'clock in the morning, y'all. And I'm dropping my husband off for work today. As y'all can see, some people are already here at work. Let me see that. They're already here at work, getting there, swerving, whatever. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Dropping him off to work early this morning, and I'm about to go back home. When I do get back home, I'm probably going to do some workouts and do some um, salad bowl preps this morning so I can be able to have those um, for lunch and stuff. Um, 
probably for the next two or three days and then, then i'm gonna end up going back to the store to get more things to um make my salads and stuff and i'm probably gonna go to the asian mart for that stuff because it's just fresher there the meats are fresher the vegetables are fresher so i'll probably just go there but yeah that's what i'm doing this morning it's super super early and y'all i really don't have nothing to talk about i just wanted to come on and say that and y'all i'm thinking about actually buying some yarn today so i can dread my hair like put dreads in my hair and see how that works out for me i asked my sister to see um how to start them and i'm gonna do them really tiny but yeah that's what's going on this morning so i'll probably see you guys when the sun comes up i just wanted to say good monday morning hope you guys are having a good work week if you have started already i know it's like 6 a.m somewhere else or whatever but i hope you guys have a good work week hope you have a good work day stay positive today stay motivated today and remember be confident today be good today and have a good monday i'll see y'all a little bit later when the sun comes up so good morning y'all i know i look a mess Yes, ma'am. I'm still here. When you go on the Bell County TF.com website. Yes. And you're going to go to the elections department. Okay. All right. And it's all the way at the bottom. You're going to see a link that says election day location. Yes. V is for the early voting. Okay. Early vo EV is early voting. All right. Got it. You too. Bye. Okay, y'all. So I had to call because um, I actually just got off the phone, y'all, because I'm registered to vote or whatever. I'm not going to show my car, but I'm registered to vote. And I needed to call because I was so confused on what the voting day was. They said November the 5th. And I'm just like, how are they getting all these results in if people are, haven't even voted yet? But I guess it's like early voting in different places. So I had to find out my county. So just a word of advice, if you guys are looking to vote, Find out when early elections and all of that stuff is so you guys are early voting. I'm sorry. So you guys can go and vote early and you don't have to be held up in the lines when everybody else is there in the chaos and stuff. Because she told me October 21st is when early voting starts in my area. So you guys may need to call your Office of Elections Administration, which is what I just did. You can find that on your Secretary of State, wherever, whatever state you're in. Texas is going to be the Texas Secretary of State's website. You go on there and you can find the information. Or if you did register to vote, it will be at the top um, left-hand corner of your voter registration card. So anyways, y'all, I had to call and find out because, girl, I did not know what was going on. And I'm glad sis... Um, like put me on tell me what i needed to know so yeah i know october 21st is when i need to go and cast my vote in my ballot and that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to make sure i show up bright and early and cast my vote for who i'm gonna vote for so anyways y'all just wanted to pop in and say that i actually have me a morning um mimosa i actually made me a morning i'm gonna call it uh vamosa because baby it's just mostly vodka in here it, there's no mimos it's a vamos okay so that's what i'm drinking this morning and yeah it's about 907 my neighbors are getting their roof done so i'm just kind of like you know getting things together for today just getting stuff together for the day or whatever and trying to um get stuff in order because i have a lot that i need to do it's it's uh monday so i need to make sure that i get all this paperwork did sort out the bills that need to be paid for the week and all of that stuff so yeah that's what i'm doing this morning and i pretty much i'm being super nosy but i pretty much am just checking in or whatever from earlier um like 5 a.m so yeah um, I probably will come back a little bit later because I do need to do some more editing and get some computer stuff did too today and get clothes put up. It's just a lot that I need to do because right now, y'all, the, the way the clothes set up on my couch, hold on, <laughs> it's going to get a bit ghetto. The way the clothes set up on my couch right now, I need to get this stuff put away because it's like, la like laundry that needs to be folded at. My husband, he tried to do me a favor and help me, and he took the laundry out last night, but he just set it on the couch. So, you know, I need to 
clean that up ASAP. But I'm gonna open the blinds so I can get some better natural lighting up in here. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. Sorry, my hair looks a mess. I'm gonna take this out, take these braids out because I'm actually thinking about dreading, like getting some dreads or dreading my hair and like little, little small dreads, like really, really small, 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 small braids. And I know it's gonna take me a couple days to do it, but that's what I'm thinking about doing to my hair. Just so I can give my natural hair a chance to start growing um, and like lengthen out the way that I want it to. So I'm gonna try that and see if that works. And I'll still probably be wearing like wigs and stuff like over the top of the dreads and, and then whatever, cause I, I've seen girls do that before. But yeah, that's what I plan on doing y'all. It's nothing much going on right now. So I'm probably gonna go back in here so I can be able to finish up my morning work and um, we'll end up like chit-chatting a little bit later on today after I finish everything. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And we will catch up probably around noon.